Mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. We'll wait a little while. I want some folks hop on. There's a few. We got some. If you're there watching, tell us hi. Tell us where you're viewing from. Hi, Kim. Debbie. Amanda. Hi, Corey. <laughs> Valerie. Nolan from Oklahoma. All right, everyone. We have a special guest with us today. Sarah is with us from Absorbine, and we are going to talk about um, silver honey. Be sure to put those questions in the comments. Sarah is here to answer all of those for you. At the end of this video, we will be giving away an absorbing gift package to one lucky winner. So make sure you get those comments in there for a chance to win. Ask questions, say hello, let us know where you're watching from uh, so that you have a chance. And before we get started, we just wanted to mention that right now we have a buy one, get one 50% off offer going on right now on the silver honey spray and the ointment. So uh, be sure to take advantage of that. That will end January 31st. Okay. So with that, Sarah, we will give you the floor. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I am really excited to talk about silver honey, our new uh, wound care line. It is uh, a spray gel and an ointment in case you haven't seen it before. So these are the products. Um, brand new, uh, it's just been out for about a year now and they're the first and only wound care products to combine the healing powers of micro silver and Manuka honey. Um, they're both natural medical grade ingredients. So it's a really unique combination. There's nothing else like it out there. People are often familiar with silver on its own and maybe honey on its own for wound and skin care. But we're the first to really combine them together um, and harness the benefits of those ingredients and that we've seen amazing results so far. So it's been very exciting. Um, we do have a video that we can show to give the overview of the product, kind of give a feel for what it's all about. It goes into a little bit of detail about the ingredients and it shows kind of why uh, and when you would use it. And then we can go into more detail after that about ingredients and, and more detail about what the product does. All right, I'll get the video started. Horses getting themselves into trouble. That's nothing new, but a healing aid that helps them recover this quickly? Well, that's not something we've seen before. New Silver Honey Rapid Wound Repair works like nothing else because there's never been anything like it thanks to the unique combination of naturally powerful silver and honey. But this isn't your grocery store variety of ingredients. While good on toast, these honeys aren't good at healing. That's why Silver Honey starts here in New Zealand with the rare and precious Manuka flower. When bees harvest its pollen, it is transformed into Manuka honey, prized for its potent healing properties. For Silver Honey, it's carefully refined to concentrate the most beneficial qualities into an ultra-potent medical-grade distillation. When applied to wounds, it kills bacteria, maintains skin moisture, and helps the body shed dead tissue. At the same time, it protects the natural microbiome, the beneficial microorganisms living on the skin. But Mother Nature is generous. She also gave us the healing power of silver. Used medicinally for centuries, silver honey takes it an important step further using only medical grade micro silver BG. This pure micro particle silver boosts the antibacterial properties of the element to effectively fight harmful germs while aiding the skin's natural defenses and further protecting the microbiome. Only silver honey rapidly wound repair combines the pure strength of medical grade manuka honey with micro silver bg to create a first of its kind wound treatment 
and the results are stunning. In testing, this revolutionary formula stopped 99.9% .9 of bacteria immediately to start healing faster. So Silver Honey makes quick work of cuts, abrasions, sores, fungi, rashes, and burns. Kick and bite marks too. Plus, it's free of hypochlorous acid and anything that might damage the skin's protective natural microbiome. So be prepared for your horse's next mischief with the naturally powerful, proven science of Silver Honey Rapid Wound Repair. And find more compelling evidence at silverhoney.com. Brought to you by Absorbing, the horse world's most trusted name. Here we are. Awesome. All right. Well, yeah, so the, I mean, it's the combination that's really special. It's the medical grade natural ingredients, but it's it's truly unique and it, it works fabulously um, to heal faster. Um, so it's really is a revolutionary product. And it's nice that, well, you know, they're natural, so it's gentle on the skin. They're really powerful ingredients, which makes Silver Honey a really powerful wound care line. Um, we have Testing on it, so we've done lab testing. That really is. Looks like she might have froze up. Oh, there she might oh, be. There, you're back. I'm back. All right. What was the? Uh oh. Whoops. Hold on, folks. We'll get Hold her back. On. On we'll here. get her back. <laughs> Wouldn't be a Facebook Live without a little that, technical difficulty. Yeah. <laughs> you want to hear some jokes, maybe? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm sure I could come up with one. <laughs> oh. We do have a few questions coming in, so that's good. Yay. We'll get Sarah back on here yeah. with us. There she is. Will it help if we delete that video out of there? There we go. There you are. Hi. All right. There Better? you are. You're back in action. <laughs> You're back. Yeah. All right. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Fabulous. Always something technical. Um, <laughs> So I think we were talking about the field studies that we done with veterinarians, maybe when it cut out. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when we started developing the product, we did field studies with a couple different veterinarians and we saw really great results that we got to document. So we have some before and after pictures to show. Um, this first one is uh, obviously a face rub that one of the veterinarians encountered. And this is the healing that they saw in just three days. So really fast. They were you know, they kept up with the silver honey application every day, um, but they were really able to see that healing very quickly, which obviously means that horse got to, you know, it was much more comfortable, much more, much faster. So and that rub was obviously in a really tough spot. So, so that was great. That was really remarkable. So this is nice kind of wound progression that you can see here. Um, and then we have another before and after picture from the same veterinarian. Um, that is a yeah, there we go. So this is a donkey that had this older persistent wound on his knee and they just hadn't had any luck. They were treating this wound for two years. Um, and then uh, Dr. Stewart got involved with our silver honey field testing, which is fabulous. So they were able to try it. And he said that this was the most dramatic change that they had seen in two years of managing this wound. Um, and another thing we found through these field tests was that Silver honey and the ointment in particular is excellent for these older persistent wounds, these scabbed wounds that are having a hard time healing. The silver honey does a really nice job of softening the scab and then allowing the wound underneath to heal because of the moisturization properties of the product itself, as well as the healing power. So that was a great learning. 
um, that it's you know particularly great for these older persistent wounds as well as fresh wounds. Yeah, so great results. And this is just two. We have a whole host of um, other before and after pictures and, and results, but these are, are particularly remarkable. So that's been nice. Awesome. Um, so I talked a little bit about the moisturization, but that is a really nice thing about the product because it really keeps the skin around the wound moisturized. So it prevents any itching or irritation. So you're not getting any secondary issues while you know applying a product for wound healing. So it really allows the wounds to heal properly and for the horse to stay um, comfortable during the healing process, which is great. So really gentle on the skin, but really tough on that wound bacteria, which is a fabulous combination and just what you want when you are healing wounds. Um, the products are also pH balanced, and we touched on this a little bit in the video, but they really work to um, protect the skin's natural microbiome. So there are, you know, there's good bacteria that you should have on your skin, uh, and then there's the wound bacteria. So silver honey won't disrupt that microbiome, but it is highly effective on the wound bacteria to start that healing faster um, and the proper healing. So that's really good. Um, another thing that was touched on in the video is the versatility of the product. So wounds, absolutely, um, but silver honey can be also be used on skin conditions like scratches and rain rot um, and things like that. So skin conditions as as well as wounds. So it's, it is really a versatile, a versatile product. Um, it does work to, when you talk about wound debridement, um, silver honey really naturally debrides the wound area and, and helps to shed that dead tissue. And that's what contributes to the, um, especially to those persistent older wounds. So it pr promotes the new uh, fresh tissue growing and developing. So that is kind of the overview of what the products do. Um, so it's really great. It's really versatile. Um, and you can use it. I saw someone in the comments said that they use it on hot spots on their dog. And that's awesome. That's perfect because we were talking about horses, but it's really good for all animals. So you can definitely use it on your dog. You can use it on, you know, if you have other animals at home. Obviously you saw a donkey. Um, you can use it on all, all animals. So, so that's really great. Super versatile in how you use it and then very versatile in the animals that you can use it on. So very convenient. Valerie had asked if it smells like honey. It does not smell like honey, actually. So you wouldn't know it's gray, um, and uh, it's more of like a grayish color. And it doesn't it doesn't smell like honey. It doesn't smell sweet. Um, that's a question that we get all the time. Uh, people ask if it smells like honey or if it will kind of you know like a, it, it'll attract flies because it smells like honey, and it won't. Um, and we do have neem oil in the product uh, for natural repellency. So to kind of kind of assuage any worries that, that might come with that, but it does not smell like honey. Um, Lori asked, does it help inhibit or stop proud flesh? It'll help the wound heal properly, so it can help prevent proud flesh in that manner, but once proud flesh starts, it's not going to do anything. I mean, it's, that's a different situation. So um, it might be able to, you know, continue, help the wound continue healing in the, the proper manner. Once proud flesh is developed, then you really need to get a veterinarian involved. Okay. Um, Betty had asked, uh, when used under a wrap, what is recommended time to wash off and refresh the dressing? Um, it really depends on the wound. I've done that and I, I've done it daily. Um, I know of people that have done it um, that like leave the wrap on longer because of the particular situation. So I think it really depends on the wound um, and where it is as well. So if it's lower on the leg, on the lower limb, and it's getting dirty um, more often, then that needs more frequent attention. So um, Terry's a big fan. Mm -hmm. um, used it on her mare and healed fantastic. Oh, great. And um, on a fourth inch crack as well. So, oh, wow. Like, kudos. Wow. Um, I saw mud fever, scratches, dermatitis. Yes. Um, so, scratches, absolutely. Um, I, I've used it myself on a horse that came to me that had some pretty bad scratches, and it was, it was fabulous. So, that's where we get into the skin conditions as, as well as the wounds, but it would be great for scratches. Virginia asks um, if it's sticky or what the consistency is. Oh, sure. So the um, ointment is 
has shea butter in it and it really does have that kind of shea butter feel to it. So it's a thicker cream. Um, and it, after you're done applying it, it leaves your hands feeling really soft. So you can kind of tell how it's going to moisturize and condition the skin. So it's not sticky at all. It's really soft and conditioning, but it has that thick like shea butter consistency. Um, and the spray, there we go, is um, it's not sticky. It's a liquid spray gel. So you spray it on the area and it will, it's liquid. So it'll kind of run for a second and then it'll set where it is. And then, um, you know, the gel form, it'll help it stay in place. So that's really nice. Um, but I don't find them to be sticky. Um, I think you touched on this a little bit, but just in case you missed it, Heather had a question. Will it help an older wound or a scab? And does it promote hair growth on wounds? Yes, uh, yes to both of those. So uh, if you have an older persistent scab, I would definitely recommend the ointment. I think that's the best way. And that's um, the veterinarian that used silver honey on the scabbed area used the ointment. Um, I think with that shea butter, I think the uh, ointment has probably stronger, more intense moisturizing properties. So it'll help soften that scab. And then the silver honey will kind of penetrate the area and start to heal the wound underneath. So it's really good. Um, and then through that proper healing, it'll promote the hair growth, but it's not meant, it's not designed, you know, necessarily as a hair growth, but, um, with the proper healing of the wound, you'll get that nice hair regrowth. Um, is this like other colloidal silver products? No, um, actually micro silver is really different than colloidal silver. So micro silver, the particles are a little bit larger than colloidal silver. Colloidal silver is a nano silver, so really small particles that can be absorbed um, into the skin. Um, micro silver actually has larger particle size and that lets it sit on top of the skin and that's what lets it stay in place, which is nice because the micro silver provides like a prolonged antimicrobial effect. So it stays where it's put and then it protects that area um, until you either wash it off or reapply it. So it's not going to be, micro silver is not going to be absorbed into the skin. Okay. And then um, how is Manuka honey different than regular honey? So and we did touch on this on the video a little bit, but Manuka honey has medical, um, medical grade, it's medical grade. So it has these healing properties. So it's harvested and, and, and made specifically um, for, for the medical applications. And ours is a UMF-5. So when you look at Manuka honeys, you can tell if it's medical grade by the UMF factor. If it has a UMF factor, that's an indication that the Manuka honey you're using has, um, has medical uh, grade properties. So ours is a UMF-5. Cameron asked, does it burn when it's applied? No, it's really gentle. Yeah, no, these are really, really gentle products. So it won't burn. Um, it, they're really intended to soothe the skin and to, you know, like we were talking about moisturize and, and keep that wound area conditioned so they won't burn. And then Amanda had asked um, about it helping with sunburns or burns in general. Yep, burns in general. Um, actually, both products... Um, the micro silver is is by itself used in uh, for burn application, um, so it, you know. But silver honey can be used on burns. Does anybody else have any questions? Sometimes people will ask why you would use one over the other or if you could use both together. Um, so the spray would be great for larger areas. So if you do have an area of rain rot or maybe a sensitive area that the horse doesn't want you to touch, the spray gel is really nice because it's that no touch application. Um, and again, because it has the gel consistency when you spray it, it stays in place, but it's really handy for the larger areas. And then the ointment is great for um, like the more targeted areas or the older, more persistent wounds that we were talking about. And it, it is a little bit more moisturizing than the spray gel is. So it really depends on the situation. And both can be used under wraps. So. Oh, good. I was going to say that was the next question yeah. there. Okay. And then uh, Tammy had also asked if this is broodmare safe. Oh, we haven't done any testing specifically on that. So I would 
kind of consult your veterinarian uh, on that. We just haven't tested that specifically, so we don't really have the, the any data to, to back that up. They're really gentle. They're natural ingredients. All the ingredients are on the label, so you can um, review that. Um, and if you want to consult your veterinarian, you can certainly do that. Um, does this product have any taste? Would the horses lick it off for any reason? <laughs> no, there's actually um, a bittering agent in there. We have Bitrix in there. So especially it's more of a concern with dogs generally, and um, but they want to always lick the wound. But so we have this bittering agent. So it should discourage them from licking. I don't think you, I would worry too much about a horse licking it off, um, but it's, it doesn't taste, it's not, you know, it, it's not going to taste great and it, it's not sweet. So it shouldn't encourage them at all. And then the bittering agent should certainly dissuade them. I'm not sure. I'll just show that. Had a question. Uh, Girth galling? Oh, girth galling? Girth galling. Mm. That one I don't know about. <laughs> um, I guess I'm not really fam I'm familiar with that, actually. Would that be more, if she's out there, is that more of a rub or is that more of like an inflammation area where you get like a bump? Ruth, can you clarify for us a little bit more? Whoops. Yeah. Kim had commented that um, she used it on her dog and her dog dog did not touch it. So awesome. that's the Bitrix. It's doing its job. Nice. <laughs> yep. Well, that's a good question. Heather has a question about how it should be stored. Can it be stored out in the barn or should it be stored in the house? You can store it in the barn. Um, you know, the I don't know what the freeze point or anything would be on it, but I mean, I've personally kept it on pretty cold temperatures and it's been fine. Um, but we generally say temp, you know, room temperature if you can. Uh, obviously, you can keep it in the barn. Probably want to keep it out of extreme temperatures is ideal if you can. Girth soreness. So if it's a if you have a girth sore like a rub, then you can certainly use this on that. Okay. And then Shirley asked about the shelf life. Um, I think we have a three year, it's either a two or a three year shelf life. I think it's three, uh, but I can double check on that and we can put that information out. Okay. Yeah. And then if you missed it at the beginning of the video, we did say that right now we have a special going on, buy one, get one half off. So if you buy an, oint an ointment, you're going to get another ointment for half off. Um, and same with the spray gel. Awesome. Yeah, they're great. And I mean, people, you do one or the other, there are situations where you could use them together, but um, generally. And that uh, is going on until January 31st. So just a short time left on that offer. So take advantage of that while you can and give it a try if you've been wanting to. Awesome. Yeah, it's great. We're talking about the versatility of silver honey, but it, it truly is. I've had a couple horses that have been a little bit accident prone. We've gotten to test this out on a lot of different situations and you can see firsthand uh, how quickly it helps. Um, uh, you know, scratches can be a tough one to take care of. So I keep coming back to that and it really took care of it, and, you know, quicker than I thought it would. Um, but rubs and, and cuts, it's nice that you can wrap it or you can leave it unwrapped because then you can use it on, you know, all sorts of different areas, which is great. Um, so it's really easy to use. We've actually had the opportunity to take Silver Honey to a veterinary conference that we go to every year. And the veterinarians were really interested in it. So they love that combination of the silver and the honey because, you know, like I said before, people are pretty familiar with them by themselves, but this is the first time silver and honey has been combined together in, in one wound care product. So even the vets were really intrigued by that. So it, um, so we had a big splash there. So that was nice. Um, we did have another question come in. Lisa had asked if you can use this on deep wounds. Yeah, and I guess it depends how deep you're talking about. So if it's getting to be pretty serious. Obviously, you're going to want to consult your veterinarian and, and ask them. So I think it really depends specifically what you're referring to there. 
you can use it on some pretty good wounds, but when a wound gets to a certain extent, you're, you definitely want to bring the vet in. So there are things we can definitely handle ourselves. Um, and then there's definitely times when we want to call the vet. <laughs> All right, Sarah, is there anything else that you would like to add before we draw a winner today? Awesome. Yeah, um, I think this has been great. I think we covered it, but it's really, you know, the exciting thing is the, the natural medical grade ingredients in here. There's really nothing else like it on the market at all. It's the only product that combines the medical grade silver and the medical grade Manuka honey. So you get that dual action, which is really nice. So we're excited to have it. Um, we're excited to talk to you guys about it. Uh, if anyone else, if you have any other questions, you can always reach out to us too, and we're happy to answer them. Um, but we've seen great results and you'll see more of Silver Honey um, throughout the year for sure. And we're excited that Valley Vet has it on sale so you can grab it. Um, and uh, thank you all for having me. This has been fantastic. Thank you so thank much you. for joining us. Thanks. All right, we're gonna draw the winner. Um, and it's going to be Amanda R.T. Great, congrats, Amanda. Congratulations, congratulations. Amanda. Fabulous. All right, All right. We have just a couple announcements before we let you go. Don't forget our Lucky Oops. Seven sweepstakes going on right we now. We have our Lucky Seven sweepstakes going on right now. Um, there's going to be seven winners, and you have until February 26th to enter. So get entered now so you don't forget. And tune in with us Thursday. We will be back here live with some new products, new colors, and some awesome gift ideas for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Once again, Sarah, thank you <laughs> thank so you much. Thank you guys very thank much. You. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye.